Hello and welcome to the special edition of Crosstalk. Today, only one thing is important, and what we are going to discuss is Peter Lavelle. We've known him for many years, but do we really know him? That's what we'll try to find out. And today we're joined by Peter's two most favorite minions, uh, I meant producers, Marsha and Katya. I'm going to ask you two, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Peter? Well, obviously, he's very smart. And some people may not believe that, but he's very kind too. Oh yes, he's fair and honest and strong. And don't forget generous, he always feeds us in restaurants. And he promises to start paying us soon. And he is very stylish. We have a short video that shows a numerous variety of his flamboyant outfits. But right now, we're joined by our very special guest who knows Peter better than most of us here. Okay, girls, I absolutely agree, but I have one word for you, and that is style. I mean, that bow tie, is that world famous now thanks to Peter Lavelle? Everybody knows Peter and his bow tie, right? And the way he mixes and matches shirts and sweaters and bow ties, it's amazing. Also, one fact, one interesting and queer fact is that he actually declined a few offers to host fashion programs. I mean, I promise never to talk about it, but it's true. It's like a foot fetish, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here we see. Here we, there we go. The, uh, the, uh, I can't. There we go. There we go. See. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sold. Okay. Near Dorga. Near Dorga. See, they all agree with me. I mean, Peter Lavelle. Yeah. <laughs> that was Lisa reporting from Switzerland. Thank you for that, Lisa. Girls, would you like to add something? He's got the looks, no doubt, but I think his personality still shines through. Well said. I mean, his most distinctive and uh, mysterious feature is his brain, right? He knows everything about everything. He simply absorbs information. I do agree with you, Masha. He can appreciate intellect, especially in women. Just look at his team. It's not easy to become a Crosstalk member. You just have to be a very smart woman. I'm glad you've brought that up, Kaita. And now we have two experts with us. Only those two have a chance to handle an intellectual sparring with Peter. Uh, I had just read this uh, headline in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, there are some people who are not quite happy with Peter Lavelle's intellect that we have just uh, heard uh, being discussed. So Peter Lavelle is sly and evil, and he wants to take over the world. What's your take on that? But there you go again, Dima. You, you think that you can present yourself as an intellectual by quoting some fake news out of the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times every episode. But there's no question that Peter Lavelle is a controversial and confrontational host. He punctures the mainstream narrative using their own tools against them. And he's not only a, 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 an incredible host and debater, but he's also a close personal friend of mine. We've known each other back, well, back from the days when we were both campaigning together for John Kerry for U.S. president in 2002, but, but, or 2004. Oh, uh, but, wait a minute, did I say that on air? Veronica, edit that out. Don't, don't, don't let anyone know Mark, that we campaigned Mark, for Mark, Kerry. Mark, Mark, let me go to me, uh, let me go to me, back, back to me, yes. Um, uh, Mark, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but you know Peter from the good side. There are some people who have learned him from the bad side. Let me quote the New York Times. In his 10 years of service on RT, Peter Lavelle has kicked the ass of CNN's Cuomo, the State Department's Mugfall, and a few other victims of his unending hybrid war. Can anyone contain Peter Lavelle? Can anyone finally impose sanctions on him? What do you think, Mark? What's your take on that? Should we put sanctions on Peter Lavelle? I, I think the only effective sanctions that we could put on Peter Lavelle was if we forbid him from entering uh, American-style steakhouse and hamburger places in Moscow, which for some reason, despite being a, a, a Russian patriot, is the only place that he chooses to eat at. But Dima, please, I, I realize that you're kind of P Peter's pet Russian, right? Uh, you're the token Russian on the show. Exactly. But to be honest, you're only an expert in 
anecdotes and strained analogies to 1990s Russia when you were a liberal. For everything else, the international relations, modern context, Peter has me. Wait, there is one thing we almost forgot to mention. What's another important thing in Peter's life? Watches, glasses, appreciation of a woman's beauty. His work, he's so passionate about it. When it comes to work, it's really serious business, all jokes aside. Let's take a look. This will be the best program because I got the best people. I got the best guests. <laughs> and it's going to be an awesome program, awesome program, because we always get the best people. We always get the best product. Donald Trump appears to be determined to recast key pillars of the American... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, guys. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Right. He is a contributing editor at The Atlantic and author of numerous books. Books. <laughs> what an asshole. Wow. I mean, he's calling me a communist? What? What? I, 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 Masha, you see what I mean? Ooh. On you. On you. Can you move the auto cue up for me, please? There you go, dear. Let's do it again. <laughs> I fell asleep at the wheel. Don't do that to me. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, you, you, you take it. Okay. <laughs> well, with that attitude, he has become quite a success. We're about to show you an exclusive video that we received from anonymous source. Watch exclusively on this very special edition of our program. I'd like to make a confession to finally say the truth. Russia indeed helped me in my presidential campaign, and there is one person whose role in the victory cannot be forgotten. His name is Peter Lavelle. The host of my favorite program, Crosstalk, on RT. He's amazing. He helped us in this fight. Our common vision for the future led us to the place where we're now. I hear he's a gentleman like myself. He's great, it's true. But man, he was tough on Hillary. Thank you, Mr. Lavelle. I promise to justify your hopes. Fantastic. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. And another right answer to the question, who is Mr. Lavelle, would be a birthday boy. Happy birthday, Peter. Happy birthday, Peter. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Peter. Lots and lots of joy to you. Happy birthday, Peter. Happy birthday and many happy returns of this day. And I wish that we have many more uh, dynamic programs with you. Peter. You and I both know that Russians make this incredible big deal out of birthdays for some reason. I'm not going to belabor that with you. One year closer to death, my friend. What can we do? Happy birthday, dear Peter. Happy birthday to you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I love you. I love you.